Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to force browsers to flush and reload JavaScript and CSS files. So you have uploaded a new script onto the server, but the browser is still somehow showing the old one. What is at fault here is actually the browser cache. For you guys who are new, here is a quick explanation on how the browser cache work. So when the user first visits a website, the browser will download and save scripts and images into the local device. This is called the cache. On repeated visits, the browser will simply load the files from the cache, effectively reducing the loading time. But as you already know, this becomes an issue when the browser does not pick up updated files from the server. So here are a few ways to force the browser to reload the scripts. First, let us start with the easiest method. In most modern browsers, simply hit Ctrl F5 or Command F5 on a Mac. This will force a hard reload, make the browser download the entire page as if it is a new visit. If you are on Google Chrome, you can also open the developer's console by using the F12 key. Right click on the reload button, empty cache and hard reload. But this method is only good for the power users and developers. If you are trying to push an updated script on a live server, the next best alternative is to change the file name itself. The simplest way is to append a dummy parameter to the SRC. While this will fool the browser into reloading the script, take note that most browsers will not cache files with parameters. This is bad for the performance in the long run, and I will personally recommend to append a version number to the file name instead. Moving on, this is kind of advanced, and it is to append HTTP expire headers to the file. We can actually do this in various ways, but here is how it is done in PHP. First, we rename the script to a PHP file. Yes, PHP. Then, at the top of the script, we output cache control, no cache. and also set an expiry date using a pass timestamp. Again, this will fool the browsers into always reloading the script. You might want to remove this segment after most users got the updated version. Finally, if you want to push a mass update, I recommend using features on the web server itself. In Apache, we can enable the mod expires module. Then create a HT access file, simply activate expire by file type. Set them to expire on access. This will also force a reload without any cache. Remember to remove this after some time. With that, we have gone through all the common force reload methods. If it has helped you, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and see you in the next one.